So the core functional job has already been identified. And this, this can be obvious if you look close enough, right? However, there are other factors and other players involved in the purchase decision. This is emotional and consumption jobs. So at this point, you need to be confident you've applied the customer avatar template correctly. Remember, there are four customer types you need to consider. Now we've spent a lot of time on the core functional job to be done and the associated functional jobs, but how does the customer want to feel? Or how do they want to avoid feeling? How do they want to be perceived by others? These are the emotional and social jobs to be done. Now to keep it simple, we cluster social jobs with the emotional jobs because of their obvious close relation. And what did the customers have to do to fulfill their needs or solve their problem? There are many steps involved in product use and consumption. And if you are going to remove frictions and irritants, you don't want to neglect anything. As you map the customer journey, you need to assess the emotional and the consumption jobs so that you can further improve service in established applications. So the key question that we need to be able to ask and answer, are you assessing emotional and consumption chain jobs? And have you identified and assessed emotional and product consumption chain jobs in order to further improve service in established applications? To be effective, we want to identify and assess emotional and product consumption jobs. We need to further improve service, right, in established applications. Music